Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And today I have a brand new diamond painting from Craft Ease. Now I have brought to you Craft Ease in the past for paint by numbers, but this is the first time that I've been given the opportunity to try the diamond painting kits. They have recently reached out to me to try their new kits because this one has poured adhesive instead of the high tack double-sided adhesive that you'll see with the white paper over the top. Because of poured glue, adhesive holds the drills better. To me, it's a lot easier to work with. It's a little more forgiving than the double-sided adhesive ones. So I prefer this type. It doesn't mean I will only use a poured glue diamond painting, but I do prefer these. All right, so let's get this open. They have this nice box. Now in shipping, it got squished. That is just something, you guys, that I'm seeing a lot of because shipping companies are trying to rush to get things delivered and they're not handling things with a lot of care. In fact, I have on video right now, my mail carrier, which she and I do not get along, throwing my packages on my front porch. She will not walk across the porch and put them on the table at the door. She will throw them and slide them across my porch. So, you know, if that's going on in my, on my front porch, imagine what's going on behind the scenes. Now you guys are gonna recognize this design because this is the same design as the paint by number that I have from them. All right, so it's called Silent Journey. And this one is a 45 by 55 centimeter, so it is not extremely huge, which is good. You can see the whole thing in the camera right now. And um, once I open it, it might be a little easier for you to see you know, all over. So hopefully that's gonna be the case. Now they do have it protective wrapped. Let's get this off. You guys, the colors, look at the colors. Lime green is one of my favorite colors. Oh, look at all the purples and the deep blues down in here and the oranges. And the, oh, the aqua blues. Okay. Crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> I hate it so much. So let's get this canvas unrolled. Now, first glance, let's talk about the quality of the canvas. It is a plastic type of texture. A lot of diamond paintings come in with this texture, but you'll notice that this one has the little sparkle in the background that the Diamond Art Club painting canvases have. It helps make this sparkle a little bit better, especially when it's a round drill. And this one is a round drill. So that is something that I kind of like because if I put down all these drills between them, there'll be little gaps and those little gaps will have a little shimmer of their own. Now I'm going to see if this lays flat after I have had it laying out for a few minutes without anything laying on top of it because it seems like it's trying to lay flat on its own. Now, a lot of people get all worried about rivers. These rivers appear to be in the paper, the plastic, not in the adhesive underneath, but I'm gonna pull that back and we're gonna look at that. So let's check out these tools. Since this is my first Craft Ease diamond painting, I wanna see what they've given us, which I'm already liking. So it looks like and I do not ever diamond paint anymore without using the little grips that they come with, that some of them come with. So they've given us two drill pins, which is fantastic. And what I like is that one has the, I think this is the six drill extension little cap um, adapter. And this one has the three drill adapter. So you have both options. And then you also have your single drill on the other end. So we've got two pins, two grips. Let me go ahead and just slide those on there, make sure they get they fit snugly, which they do, which is a really, really good thing because I don't like it when my pencil grip goes back and forth on my drill pin. So um, that's a nice thing. Then they also have a pair of tweezers with a nice little, just a little plastic loop thing to keep them closed. And that's just nice for safety purposes. They have the white tray with the funnel, which is, you know, the ones I like and two large pieces of our wax that we need for putting the drills down. So let's put this aside. Now, if you guys are not familiar with diamond paintings, I definitely wanna ask that you go check out some of my videos. I will actually put um, a link right here for a couple of the ones that I have so that you can see like 
how do I know if I need round drills or square drills and how do I have diamond paint and all that stuff. I've got a couple of videos for you guys. All right, so now what I wanna talk about is this pour glue surface. So this is gonna enable me to pull back my corner and expose the part I'm working on, okay? So I can just pull this back and once I finish working for the day, I'm able to put this back over the top of the part I've completed and I can still see my progress. I can see how it looks and whatever, and it's still protected. I don't like, if I've completed a section, I don't like taking the plastic or the paper off of it really right off the bat because while I'm working on this other stuff, on the other parts, dust, debris, something can get in, you know, between the little drills over here. So I just kind of like to keep it protected the whole time till I'm done with it. So what I want to do is test. Yeah, it's very tacky. I love it. Okay. And then I also want to talk about the schematic. So it's very clearly marked over here in color. And we also um, have really clearly marked schematic in here. So there's a lot of similar colors in this piece, but I can tell very clearly that that is F, 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 G, 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 G. So even the ones that are very similar, the letter is extremely easy to see and read. Now let's talk about these drills for a minute. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of painting on this piece, just so I can check the tack of the canvas and um, see the the shimmer of the drills and the facets and all that stuff. So let's get this crinkly thing open. Everything in this kit is very nicely packaged. So that is, that's always a plus for me. So let's open this part. Look at the colors. Oh, look at these. Okay, so that's different than anything I've seen. It's more like a crystal little drill. So it is the same shape as these others but it is more transparent and it's gonna give us a little different kind of shimmer. I like that. Okay, cool. Look at the colors, you guys. Skittles, 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 or chiclets, whichever one. Chiclets aren't round though. All right, so look, I just wanna show you these colors. There's two of those transparent type gems that I can see right off the bat, which is so cool. All right, so now I have a stray drill. He's like, run, run for your life. All right, let's see what is the color here in this section, because I'm gonna do a little bit of diamond painting. I'm gonna start with A, which is going to be number 21. 21 is right here. I'm gonna pull, hope I didn't just open, okay, I didn't open that. Usually, I, even though these are perforated, these little envelopes, I like to cut them apart because sometimes if you're pulling them apart, they will <laughs> rip into the next little baggie. And I don't mean this company, I mean these in general. So you'll have these like, ah, you know, drills laying everywhere. All right, so let me move this crinkly stuff aside. And I'm gonna use my little tray, one of my wax pieces and one of my drill tools with the three drill adapter on the, e the other end. Um, I'm just gonna peel back this plastic and put my drill pin down in the wax to get it in here. This is what helps us pick up our drills. All right, so now that I have that in there, I'm gonna put just a few of these drills into my tray. And I really wanna look at the drills, not just and how they feel when they're down and how they look, but also if there's any junk drills. The, you know, the little plasticky pieces kind of sticking off the edges. Like this kind of stuff, I don't call a junk drill. It's a little piece of plastic that got into the bag. That I don't worry about. It's the ones that have all the little, like not cut properly type of of drills. Now those lined up perfectly. So, and I, I usually get them really straight in a line. I'm not really worrying about that today as much as I am about how these are going to stick. So I'm only going to do just a little small portion and I'm going to end up with my hand all in it because of the way I'm doing this, but we're going to go ahead and just, just lay them down. 
I like to see if I can move the drill around a little bit because poured canvas is known for just being real easy about, oh, I got it in the wrong place. Let me shift it and move it a little bit. It's so much easier with a poured canvas, in my opinion. Uh, that is just my experience. So. so I'm just gonna put them down one at a time for right now, just so I can see how it feels and see how it holds. Now, normally, instead of using the wax, I use poster putty. And it, I have a pack of poster putty that I think I spent two bucks on and I've only used a tiny ball off of it. And now I can't find it because I've moved everything and stored everything in my art studio. And you know how that is. I put it in a safe place. <laughs> it's safe, all right, it's safe from me. But hopefully I can find that because that's what I like to work with because I don't have to continue to dip into the wax. That poster putty will stay on there like forever. And so it's really, it's really nice to have it to go into your drill pin. Okay, beautiful shimmer, beautiful facets. Oh my goodness. So let me cover it back up a little bit. Let's, well, I want, to, I want you to see it raw. All right, see that? Those sparkle. Oh, I hope my light's catching it. They're so beautiful. They are super sparkly, you guys. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so why am I gonna do this in a paint by number and a diamond painting? Because that is how I roll. One of the two will go to probably one of my grandkids, like my grandson or something. He's the one I was doing the Freddy the Frog for, and he loves animals. He can tell you every single thing you need to know about an animal. I don't care what it is. He can tell you how many meters it is and how many, I mean, it's insane, he's four. But the bottom line is that he would love this. And my little grandbaby that's two, he will probably at some point when he's a little older, appreciate it as well. So I will keep one for myself and give the other to one of my grandkids probably. Either way, this is gorgeous. I am super excited about this. I think I have covered everything that you need to know about the Craft Ease diamond paintings, except for this. Let me say this. They do not have a large selection of diamond paintings yet, but they probably will expand that line. And I am super excited about that because this is a really nice diamond painting. So I hope you guys will give them a shot. I do have a link below and also have a promo code in the bottom and I'll put it right here for you too. So you don't forget to put that promo code in when you hit that link. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. I really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because you don't want to miss anything. I promise. Got lots and lots and lots of wonderful stuff coming up. I have Patreon and on Patreon, I will offer some exclusive videos and some um, I let you do like fan requests and you get early release of videos and there's lots of perks over there. It is a membership fee, but I hope it's worth it. It also helps me to be able to afford to continue to bring you products and things like that and work from home. So I really appreciate you guys. Go join me there too. And I will see you back soon. Thanks as always for watching.